Hey my friend, Joni here, and welcome to Lion's Mane Media. So just as a forewarning, there's a bit of storms going on, and this is actually funny based on the topic of this week's video, but it didn't. So if you hear some noises, well, that's just the weather. <laughs> anyway, with this one, I wanted to share some thoughts about if there's even a possibility of having healthy rivalries and also a bit about competition in general because it often gets a bit of a bad rap in a sense and rivalry is a form of competition when it comes down to it after all it just is often expressed with much more emotion and focus kind of like a storm almost or you could say it's oftentimes when two rivals come in contact with it's almost two storms to lighting <laughs> And again, it makes it an easy way to provide the conflict in a lot of stories, even in places we wouldn't necessarily expect it, like in an office or something. And anyway, as with most of the things, whether it's healthy or not, generally comes down to the perspective. And that's also made stories with rivals a great thing because we can explore the consequences of a rivalry in almost a safe environment. We can explore what happens to someone or ask the questions of what would this person do if this was their perspective on this rivalry and what would happen with this person. Because in essence, rivals tend to either seek complete trushing or improving. And then they either want to dominate their opposing forces or they want to improve so they exceed those forces. So it's kind of like to destroy or grow. <laughs> and I always kind of liked the stories in Manda and Anime with the rivals and so forth and kind of seeing how they may develop differently and then. It's not always the same way it happens but oftentimes there's the one focused on trusting at the beginning and the one focused on improving. Of course the improving is off and light the conversation would be like one's going I will trust you completely and totally while the other one is like I'm going to make you acknowledge me <laughs> and it's just kind of an interesting thing because again it's all based in perspective and they're not all the same as well it didn't. Some people have reasons for why they want to be dominant and other people just want to be the best. And one of the questions that we can ask is what happens after someone has trusted everything? Is there anything left for them to do? Or have they focused so much on destruction that they haven't really planted anything to really be happy about? Or, or they could be satisfied with being the best and having taunted, but or is or are they the one who always wanted another mountain to climb? Because there's always room to draw, there's always room to improve, and wow, the wind is ticking up. The thing is, we kind of we need to think of kind of lost my train of thought there, but with drove, the thing is that there's always another level to go to. No one's perfect even though some people think they are. And that's the thing, is that competition will make us better as long as we seek to be better. Because there's some people who are basically content with where they are and they think they're at the highest point but then someone may show up and show off higher than them and so they almost see that as an existential threat or something and it just provokes reactions in them, like saying you can't do that or what's going to happen now because this person just completely and totally exceeded what I thought or did it in a completely different way. And it's like, when really it should be like, okay, what can I learn from this? What is the next step of growth? It's kind of like, Okay, is my first. Satellite is a person's first thing 
to deride the competition or is it to see how they can be better than the competition? It's, again, it's all about perspective in a way. And there's so many things in life that come down to perspective. And again, sometimes we may see a situation and we think it's one way and it may be completely another way. But then, there's nothing to fear about competition if, as long as we either specialize or drill. If we want to stay stagnant, then there might be repercussions, or if we feel like, oh, we shouldn't even compete at all, there are repercussions. But then, whatever we made a choice, there are consequences. Even when it seems like there's no choice, it's still a choice. <laughs> in a sense, at least in most things. But then, it, with the specialized in drill, it's like, basically, let's consider restaurants, for example. A taco place is different from a burger place. They're specialized. Sometimes you want a burger, sometimes you want a taco. But they are different enough that they aren't really necessarily competing in the same niche or whatever. In fact, you may go back between both of them. You may go back between all the different restaurants, but then, then what about the two burger places? Aren't they competing? Now the thing is, they might be trying to compete and to draw, or they may even specialize in one area. One may be focused on putting out the cheap burger, or make it the trick and easy route. Whereas the other one is focused on the trolley, or they've expanded the menu so you have a whole bunch of things to choose from rather than just the burger. And then, the thing about competition is that we either get better, or we don't. And then, <laughs> I, pro I should probably say that better, but... And then, it's all in how we view the competition. Do we see it as an opportunity for drill? Or as a personal attack because why should we compete? Why should we be forced to compete for anything? So I guess this is just a few of my thoughts on this. What are your thoughts on rivalries and competition? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other comments or feedback to share, let me know as well. Like, do you think I should probably change the color of my shirt or anything else I do in these videos. Anyway, if you like the content of this video, please like and subscribe for the draw for this channel, and I will talk to you later, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.